All right, folks, today we're diving into the ultimate OS showdown, Windows 11 v's Linux v's Mac OS. These three are the cornerstones of computing, powering everything from gaming rigs to servers to creative workstations. But which one is the true king of the operating system world? To figure that out, we're breaking it all down into six major categories, user interface, performance, gaming, privacy, and more. Now, here's how it's going to work. For each category, we'll dig into what each OS offers, where it shines and where it falls short. After that, I'll give it a score out of 100, based on a mix of usability, practicality, and overall value in that category. In the end, we'll tally everything up for a final score out of 600, and whoever comes out on top gets crowned the champion. So buckle up, because this is going to be one epic comparison. Let's kick things off with user interface and design arguably the first thing you notice when you boot up your system. Starting with Windows 11, it's clear that Microsoft has put a lot of effort into modernizing its look. The centered taskbar, rounded corners, and glassy transparency effects give it a polished futuristic aesthetic. Compared to the clunkier design of Windows 10, it's a huge step forward. But let's not beat around the bush some of these changes look like they were heavily inspired by macOS. While Windows 11 is undeniably prettier, it's not perfect. Customization is fairly limited, and if you're someone who at least a tweak every little detail, you'll likely find yourself relying on third-party tools. It's a good mix of functionality and aesthetics, but it doesn't offer the same level of freedom as other systems. So for user interface, I'm giving Windows 11 a 75. Moving on to Linux, we're entering a whole new world of possibilities. Linux isn't just one operating system, it's a family of operating systems, each with its own unique desktop environment. Whether it's Genome K Plasma or XFIS, Linux gives you full control over how your system looks and feels. I want a desktop that mimics Windows 11. Easy. Prefer something sleek and minimalistic like macOS? Done. Or maybe you want something completely off the wall. That's possible too. The customization options are endless, but there's a catch it takes time and technical know-how to really make Linux your own. It's not as out-of-the-box friendly as Windows or macOS, which might deter casual users. Still, for the sheer amount of freedom it offers, Linux gets an 85. Finally, there's macOS, the OJ of polished design. Apple's interface has always been a benchmark for elegance and simplicity. Everything feels cohesive, from the dock at the bottom to the menu bar at the top. The animations are smooth, the icons are crisp, and the overall experience just works. But with that simplicity comes rigidity. Apple doesn't like you messing with its design, so customization options are minimal. If you love Apple's aesthetic, it's perfect. If you don't, well, tough luck. For its sleek design and consistency, but lack of flexibility, macOS earns an 80. Next up is performance, where things start to get technical. Starting with Windows 11, the performance is impressive as long as you're running it on modern hardware. Features like direct storage promise faster load times, and the OS feels snappy on a new PC. But here's the issue, Windows 11's hardware requirements are steep. If you're using an older machine, you'll either face serious slowdowns or find yourself unable to upgrade at all. Additionally, Windows has always had a reputation for being a bit bloated, with background processes occasionally hogging system resources. For performance, Windows 11 scores a 70. Now let's talk Linux. If performance is what you're after, Linux is an absolute powerhouse. It's lightweight, efficient, and can be tailored to fit your hardware perfectly. Running an older machine. No problem lightweight destroys like puppy Linux or Lubuntu can breathe new life into aging hardware. On the flip side, if you have a high-end rig, Linux can make the most of it with minimal resource usage. It's incredibly versatile, and for power users, there's nothing better. For performance, Linux earns a well-deserved 90. As for macOS, it's incredibly well optimized, but there's a catch it's designed to run exclusively on Apple's hardware. This tight integration means macOS feels buttery smooth on a MacBook or iMac, but you're locked into Apple's system. There's no denying its efficiency, but its reliance on expensive hardware limits its accessibility. For performance, macOS scores 85. Now let's move to a big one for many people gaming. Here's where Windows 11 absolutely shines. It's the go-to OS for gamers, plain and simple, with support for DirectX 12, Game Pass and compatibility with just about every game on the market. It's unmatched in this category. From AAA blockbusters to obscure indie games, Windows has it all. Gaming peripherals like controllers, VR headsets, and steering wheels. They all work seamlessly. 
If you're serious about gaming, Windows 11 deserves a 95. Linux, on the other hand, has made huge strides in recent years. Thanks to tools like Proton and Steam Play, many Windows games now run on Linux. In fact, some games even perform better on Linux than on Windows, but it's not all smooth sailing. Compatibility is still hit or miss, especially for competitive games with anti-cheat systems. For casual gaming, Linux is great. For hardcore or competitive gaming, it's still not quite there. Linux scores 65 for gaming. When it comes to macOS, well, it's not exactly a gaming powerhouse. Sure, you can play a few indie games and Apple Arcade offers some casual titles, but it's far from a gaming-friendly platform. Most major titles don't support macOS and its hardware isn't built with gaming in mind. For gaming, macOS limps in with 50. Now onto security and privacy. Windows 11 has made significant improvements in this area, with features like Tim 2.0 and Secure Boot enhancing security. However, Microsoft's aggressive telemetry and data collection practices are a major downside. It's hard to feel secure when so much of your data is being sent back to Redmond. Windows 11 scores 50 for security. Linux, as always, takes the crown in privacy and security. Its open source nature ensures vulnerabilities are patched quickly and there's no corporate spying. Privacy focus destroys like Kube's OS and Tails go above and beyond, offering unparalleled security. For privacy and security, Linux earns 90. macOS is also very strong in this category, with features like Firevolt and Gatekeeper providing excellent protection against malware. Apple markets itself as a privacy-first company, and while it's not perfect, it does deliver solid security. macOS scores 85 here. For software compatibility, Windows 11 dominates. Pretty much every application is built for Windows. From Adobe Creative Suite to engineering tools, it's the universal standard. Windows 11 earns 95 here. Linux offers a wealth of open source tools, but struggles with proprietary software. Some apps like Photoshop require workarounds to run, which isn't ideal. Linux scores 70. Finally, macOS is excellent for creative software like Final Cut Pro, but outside its niche, it's not as versatile. macOS earns 80. Lastly, cost. Windows 11 is expensive at $139 for a license. It gets 75. Linux is free. Perfect score of 100. Mac OS is free with costly Apple hardware. 70. Now let's tally up the scores from all the categories. When we add everything up, Windows 11 finishes with a total of 460. It's a powerhouse for gaming and software compatibility, but falls short in privacy and cost. Linux the true champion of flexibility and performance, scores 500. It may not have the same software compatibility as Windows or the design polish of macOS, but its security, customization, and price make it a fantastic choice for power users. Finally, macOS scores 450. It's sleek, smooth, and secure, but its high cost and limited flexibility hold it back compared to the other two. So after crunching the numbers, Linux takes the crown with the highest score, but keep in mind that every OS has its own strengths. Ultimately, the best OS for you depends on your needs and how you use your computer. Thanks for sticking with me through this deep dive. If you enjoyed the comparison, let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more. See you next time.